Hi everyone. <laughs> if you watch the first few moments of that video, you'll notice there's no sound. So it was just me talking. <clears throat> I'm going to wait a couple minutes to see if anybody joins in. So to go over what I was saying, today's class is going to cover some more advanced material. We are going to do uh, a little one pinion, a little two pinion. We're going to work on your crescent kick today. And uh, we'll also do a pretty good workout. And if you remember this from last week, we did something called station training. Station training means that we are doing uh, our workout or our exercises in little stations. We'll set up four or five stations around the room, and you'll go from one place to the other and do whatever exercise we have assigned for that station. As I was saying before, this class is aimed a little bit more at the older kids, but if you're here from the Little Dragons or Little Ninjas class, or if you're watching this video later, then you are welcome to try it out. Some of the things might be a little more complicated than I ask you to do in, our, in your usual class, but that's okay. You can still do it. All right, let's get started. So everybody, if you're watching, stand at front position. Remember that. And then we go knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, strength in the body, and bow. All right, so just start out with some arm swings. I always like to start by loosening the arms up. Just crisscross back and forth. And then bring one arm up and one arm down. Nice big swing. Now remember, you can always do a little less. As you get warmer, you can go bigger. I always like to change it depending on how I'm feeling. But whatever you do, as you go along, you should be getting bigger and warmer, right? So try to make it bigger as you go. Let's do the twist. Nice, loose, floppy arms. Ooh. And you see, as I go along, I get my arms even looser. And then I want you to bring it down to your hips and do some circles. Oh. Nice and loose. I like to do these as big as I can, but like everything else, we start a little smaller and then get bigger as you go. Switch directions. Good, and then bend both these and circle down to the knees. Same thing, just making my knees go around and around. And then we'll go the other way. I do this about 10 times. And then I'm gonna balance on one foot and I'm going to circle my ankle like this. See if you can balance and circle the ankle around one way. I'm drawing O's with my toes. And then go the other way. Might feel a little weird to go in both directions when you make that circle. Switch directions, so switch feet that is, and circle one foot around. See how I'm, I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to make the big toe make an O. And then you go the other way, circle it. Oop. Keep your balance. All right, take it out. Okay, moving on. Show me your guarding stance. What I want you to do next is a kick and then I want you to step back, touch the floor, and then come up and kick, okay? So what you do is stand up tall, kick fast, drop down, touch the floor, and repeat. Let's do that 10 times on one leg and then 10 on the other. Now these are tough. I'll turn a little sideways so you can see it. It's gonna make the leg in the front work pretty hard. And if you can't touch, if you can't go all the way to the floor, you just get nice and low and then come up. But try to get down and touch and kick and touch. And if you want, when you touch the floor, you can give it a little bit of a smack, right? So you do the kick. You come down, smack. All right, here we go, 10 times. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, and if you lose your balance, 10, just pause and pick it back up from there. I'm going to switch sides. I'll turn this way so you can see it. Same move, ready? Go. One. Now you're going to notice Sensei is going to do this a little higher on this leg. This is the one with the new hip. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Good, shake it out. Makes my heart rate go up, makes me breathe a little harder. All right, now, crescent kick. I said we were gonna work on this kick today, so here's a warm up for it. I want you to take your knee and make a big circle with it like this. Do the same thing with the other leg. So we circle around and around like that. One after the other. So imagine you're lifting foot up over something. If you want, you can get yourself a chair or some stuffed animals or something that you can circle your leg over. But for now, we'll do it without anything. So knee comes up and over. Up and over. So this, this move right here is going to become the reverse or outside crescent kick. So you will see how I'm making my knee make a big circle. It goes across my body like this and then circles back out again. Cross the body and circle out. And then what you do to make it a reverse crescent kick is you do a front kick in the middle of that. So as my legs coming up like this and circling, I'm going to front kick. When you put it all together, it goes like this. Circle, front kick, and then back again. Like that. So if I take something like this, if you remember from last week, you can have something tall, or you could have a partner holding their hand out, and you can do that exercise up and over an object like this. Now make sure it's not something too hard. If it's a wooden chair or something like that, you don't want to hurt your leg if you hit it. I'm going to do 10 kicks with one leg and then 10 with the other leg. Here we go. So circle up and over and back down. See how I lift the knee up? And as the knee comes over, front kick and then back. All while your leg is circling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then I'll do the same thing with the other leg 10 times. Just like anything else you do, start a little slow before you go. One, two, three, four, five. Here's that new hip. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very nice. All right, let's get that thing out of the way. Okay, now, still in the warm up, I've got my sword here. <laughs> you may notice. It's not actually a sword. It's just a cardboard tube from some wrapping paper. I did this last week, so if you, weren't, if you didn't see this class, this will be something fun for you to do. So here's what we'll do. We're going to do a little pretend interactive drill. That means you're going to pretend that Sensei Dave is in front of you with this tube, and I'm swinging it at you in all different directions, OK? Your job is to get out of the way. So if I swing it up high like this, duck underneath it. If I chop straight down like this, you're going to jump to the side. If I swing it down low like this, I want you to jump over it. If I come straight at you like this, you can jump to the side again. All right, here we go. Let's try it out. Get in your guarding stance, hands up. Be ready for whichever move I do. Aha, that was a high swing. Did you jump? Uh huh. <laughs> Remember to move the right direction. Uh huh. Whoa. Uh-oh. Got to look out that you don't hit your furniture. All right. Nice job. Break. I'm going to put that away. Whew. Okay. I hope you're getting warmer. Now, I said today is going to be a little bit more advanced stuff. So let's do one pinion and two pinion. And those are the things we're going to focus on. Remember, if you already know how to do one pinion and you want to practice two pinion, you could just fast forward a little bit until you see me start two pinion and start from there. If you want to practice both, you can watch both parts of the video. 
If you're watching live, well, you're going to do both. So like everything else, we start with respect, front position. For one pinion and two pinion, you start with the bow, and then you step out with your right foot. Now, this is important. I'm looking at you in a camera, and you're looking at me through a camera. So when I say step out with your right foot, I want you to make sure that's the one you're really stepping with. So maybe double check. My right foot is this one, OK? If you're looking at me, that means I'm going to go this way, and you're probably going to go that way. So right foot. We do the bow. The right foot steps out, and we step into the horse stance. And I want you to try to go right to the horse stance. Don't do something like this and take a bunch of steps to get there. No. You bow, and then you just lift your right foot and step to the horse stance. This one stays still. Sink down low. The elbows come together, and then you pull your elbows apart as your hands come down, then pull your hands apart. So you end up in this pose right here. Now, step to the left. There's a bad guy over there. So I turn and face that guy. What kind of stance is this? That's right. If you said half moon stance, that's where we're at. Then I do a low block with my left hand. So if you look, whatever leg's in front, that hand is in front too. So just to review that move, bow, right foot horse stance, breathe, left foot half moon stance, left hand low block, then we do a right foot half moon stance, right front punch. Okay, now I did that very slow, class. I'm going to get down nice and close because I want you to make sure you understand this, okay? I know that when you're learning something, you want to be good at it really fast. And you want to know it quick. But this is important. Take your time. Do it slow in the beginning so that you can get better now, and then you can be faster while still being really good at it. I see sometimes students who want to rush, they go too fast too soon, and then it gets sloppy. And then they have to work harder to make it better later. So take your time now so that you're awesome later. Yes, sir? OK. Here we go. One pinion. Bow. Horse stance. Elbows. Breathe. Now left foot, half moon. Left hand, low block. Right foot, half moon. Right hand, front punch. Good push pull. Now I'm going to turn around. There's a bad guy behind me. I take this leg. I stick it behind me like this. And see how I take it from there when my half moon stance? I'm going to put it behind me so that it's ready when I twist my feet around. If I did that right, I'm now in a half moon stance, right foot forward. Low block with the right hand. Left foot half moon stance, left hand punch. Now I'm going to turn towards you. Move the left leg over to a half moon stance. You do a low block. Now three times. Half moon stance. Front punch, half moon stance, front punch, half moon stance, front punch. Now, I'm going to stop there. That's the first half of one pinion. If you did this last week and you've practiced it, you might remember it all by yourself. So if you're watching this live, we're going to do another drill. But if you're not watching it live, what I want you to do is stop the video now, go back, and go through that again until you can remember all those moves correctly all by yourself. It'd be really cool if you have mom or dad or somebody watching with you to make sure you're doing it right. And you can always send me a message and say, Sensei, I need help with that. And you know what? You can, we can get online and talk on Zoom or something, and I'll even help you do it that way. I'll help you do it live. All right, so two pinion. For those of you who are watching live, if you know this one, follow along. If you don't, you can stop and go and carry on with one pinion. Um, here we go. Two pinion starts the same as one pinion. Bow, horse stance, breathe and breathe out. Step to a half moon stance with the left leg and low block, just like one pinion. But in two pinion, when we step to a half moon stance, we do thrust punch. That's right, you remembered. That's a thrust punch. Then we turn around, right? The foot goes across, we spin around and low block. Then we step forward and thrust punch. Just to review, thrust punch means you're holding your hand like that. That's a front punch. That 
is a cross punch. OK, here we go. Then we turn to block the bad guy down the middle. Low block. Left leg half moon stance. Half moon forward All right now. Here's where it's different. I turn it over for a front punch. And then I bring my hand in, sink down. Who remembers this one? See how my elbow's bent? And I swing it like this. I'm hitting with the side of my fist right there. We call that reverse hammer. So it's front punch, curl, reverse hammer. And it should go straight to the front. Half moon forward, front punch, curl it in, reverse hammer. And then we do that one more time. Half moon, front punch, curl, reverse hammer. All right, I'm going to stop there. That's the first half of two pinion. Just like I said before, if you're watching this live, we're going to move on. If you're not, stop the video, go back, and review that first part. Okay, so you can practice it until you know it well. All right, I think we'll do one more thing, and then we'll finish up for, for this afternoon's class. Uh, remember I said we're going to do a station workout. So this is a way you can do your own karate class at home. You take the different things you've learned, you make little stations around your house or around your room, and you say, when I'm at this station, I'll do one pinion. And when I'm at this other station, I'll do five jumping jacks. And whatever you want, you can make it up however you want. I'm going to give you an example today. We'll do it, and then we'll finish up. But I want you to be able to make up some of your own as you get better. So I will use my uh, stuffed animals here, just because it's what I've got handy, to make my stations. You don't have to use stuffed animals. You could use pillows. You could use plastic cups. You could use a toy, anything you want. Or you could just pick a space in your house. Okay? It could be the corners of this little carpet that I'm on, which is where I'll put my friends. I'll put a teddy bear here and a, teddy and a kitty cat here. <laughs> and I did this with my morning class today, something like it anyway. There we go. And let's see, we'll put another cat here and a turtle here. So I made four stations. And all we need to do is pick what we're going to do at each station. So we'll do one pinion. I'm going to do one pinion in this corner. In this corner, I'm going to do, let's see, I'll do five push-ups. And on this corner, I'm going to do 10 of the crescent kicks we did a minute ago. And then over here, we'll do, let's see, hmm, what could we do? We could do two pinion over here, if you know it. All right, so here we go. Always start, by the way, if you, if you imagine these stations as people, we go into our little circle and we bow to each of the people in our drill. We always show respect to our fellow students. So here we go. One pinion by the teddy bear. Bow. Horse stance. Left leg half moon, left hand low block. Right leg half moon, right hand punch. Right hand low block, right hand half moon. Left foot half moon, left hand front punch. Left foot half moon, left hand low block. Half moon punch, half moon punch. Half moon, punch. That's the first half. OK. Then over here, we're doing five push-ups. So I get down. One, two, three, four, five. And then over here, we're doing our crescent kicks. I'm going to do 10, five on each leg. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm switching sides. One, two, three four, last one, and then we finish up with the first half of two pinion. Wow. Just like one pinion, we step and block. Then we do step and thrust punch. We turn around with that low block, half moon, step and thrust punch. We turn down the middle with a low block three times. Front punch high, reverse hammer. Front punch high, reverse hammer, and one more time. Front punch high, reverse hammer. OK. How'd you do? Now challenge yourself with that drill. You can do that for time. Go through all four stations and see how quickly you can do it. Maybe you did it faster than you did it last time. And that would be a way to tell whether you're getting better. Remember what I said a minute ago, though. Don't rush. Take your time when you're doing things like one pinion and two pinion. OK, class. Great job today. Remember, you can go back, stop this video, watch it again to review what we did. For, you, for my junior students, one pinion, and for the purple belts and up, two pinion. You need to know it so you can earn belts. So practice, and remember what I said.
when you're practicing, take your time. Don't be in a rush. Sometimes it's nice to slow down. You all have a great day. I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for coming today. Bye.